Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today. This is the day after uh, Guo Wengui, or Miles Wok, was presented and detained. He's been detained. Um, he didn't seek bond. His chief of staff, uh, Yvette Wang, was separately presented, and they offered her bond. In fact, there was, a, there was a quite a long discussion between the pro lead prosecutor and her defense attorney, Priya Chowdhury, about the conditions of release. As it turned out, they want uh, the, they wanted the two signatures before she gets released, and um, they turned down the two that she proposed because they were quote unquote co-conspirators. Can't she find two others to co-sign a five million dollar bond? She seems to have an apartment that's worth a million dollars. She had one hundred thirty eight thousand dollars in a safe, twelve iPhones, SIM cards, and was called solely responsible for a hundred million dollar uh, wire transfer. That which is strange because later in the afternoon upstairs on the twenty fourth floor. Uh, this was ascribed to Mr. Miles Guac. In any case, we're going to be covering this case quite closely. Uh, there's an affiliated SEC case, and basically every twist and turn, we will be on it. We covered his civil case when he sued a contractor. We covered the Bannon stuff, but this is the big one. This is the big kahuna. Now, in other news, oh, oh, a, another crypto guy, a guy called Fowler, a former F NFL guy. Uh, Fowler is awaiting sentencing, but last night the prosecutors put in a letter asking the judge, Judge Carter, to bar Mr. Fowler from continuing to gamble in Arizona, saying that uh, this is taking away from restitution and forfeiture. Maybe he's winning. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, overseas, now, of course, the U.S. banking crisis, uh, so-called signature, and not, not, I mean, it's a crisis, but it's a crisis of legitimacy and of insider sleaze. Did you know that Barney Frank, who passed the, the you know, Dodd-Frank bill, well, then lobbying was on the board of Signature Bank. There's also a guy called Derek Cephas. He was a bank regulator. He's on there. There's a guy called Michael E. Collins who's on the board of Comerica. He was a longtime Fed official. So there's a lot to be found out. And now Credit Suisse was in a little bit of a pinch due to the Saudi National Bank, but the Swiss National Bank came through. Meanwhile, more corrupt than any of this is the UN, where a meeting on North Korea sponsored by the U.S. mission will not be seen on television. To be continued.